This evening on the bench, we're looking at this uh, Roxanne Caspian uh, high quality stereo amplifier. Uh, the owner reports it generates a sort of large, it starts to crackle when it's been on for a while. Um, and apparently, it's, uh, he was going to send it back to Roxanne, but never got around to doing it. So I, was, I offered to have a look at it for him so we can work out what's actually wrong with it and uh, give him an idea of what it's going to cost to uh, to repair it. Now, as soon as you see, it's been very well looked after, and I know the owner and everything's, you know, everything's pristine. It's all been looked after perfectly well. It's not sort of, it's not dirt or tobacco smoke or anything like that. This this amplifier's uh, in mint condition. The first thing I'm going to do is try and work out how to turn it on. It might be done by remote, but there is a power switch on the back, so we're going to power it up. Initially, I'm going to power it up. It's next connected to these workshop speakers, and I'm going to power it up just to see what we get from the speakers. Let it settle for a while, um, and then from that point, to try and diagnose where the, where the fault lies. If it's the preamp, power amp, power supply, or whatever. So let's power it up. Red light on, I don't know what that means. Okay, sounds like the protection relay's dropped out. I don't know if it has got a protection relay, actually, it sounded like a sort of like a quite a small relay, so it's probably a source selector. See if we can get any audio from it. Uh, Nothing at the moment. Oh, here we go. Let's try the right switch. Got the wrong selection switch selected. Okay. Let's run through the selections. Now, bear in mind, at the moment it's quite cold in the workshop, so I'm probably going to have to leave this amplifier running for a while. I don't want to remove the cover until I'm sure I know what's wrong with it. So far, so good. No, no problems there. It has. I know it's got preamp, power amp links in the back, but they're well and truly plugged in, so it's not that problem. And that mode switch looks like an attenuator. So turn the attenuator off. And, I'm, and I must say, well, considering I'm connected up to my sort of ancient uh, Bang and Olsen speakers. Ah, we've got the crack in the left hand channel, just coming through now. And the power amp stay, I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Yep, so we've definitely got a, um, a problem with the left hand channel's power amplifier um, because the volume, and the reason why I know that is because when I turn the volume down, I've got no uh, change in volume. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the power amp linkage out and repower it up again. Now, definitely. Uh, don't like that. That sounds a bit sort of uh, DC to me. So I think what we'll do is we'll whip the cover off and have a look inside and see if we can see anything. Obviously, sort of a dry joint. It sounds like something as it's getting warm is uh, starting to fail. It could be the output transistors aren't soldered in properly. It could be a dying capacitor. Uh, but until we get the cover off, uh, we won't know. Okay, the amplifier's powered up again. Uh, I've got the pre-power amp linkages disconnected, so we're just looking at the output stage for uh, problems at the moment. Um, no, it's not like that. So that sounds like the output stage has gone short. Now that's interesting. So why has it done that? So there's obviously a serious, a serious problem with either a capacitor in this thing. Uh, so I need to, what I need to do is I need to put a DC blocking capacitor in the in the speaker line to uh, prevent it from uh, blowing my speakers up because it obviously hasn't got a protection relay. Uh, I think we're, what we're looking at here is we're looking like looks like a uh, 
possibly a, a dry dry joint on one of the resistors that's got hot and cracked and it's taken a transistor out but uh, I think the first thing we need to do is uh, have a look at the DC voltages because that's it shouldn't do that I mean and there's no protection really at all so you're, you're you know you're at the mercy of the DC supply straight through to the speakers which I I'm really not that happy about because it's going to take my speakers out so okay let's have a uh, let's have a look let's get some DC voltages measured and see what's going on here 